Hey guys, it's Saikur Sam here and welcome back to episode 257.8 of Quarantine Vlogs. We're burning hot in Denmark, it's really hot. I got a haircut, which I cut myself, I'm really proud of it. And I have my fanboy with me. Anyway, so in this video, we're gonna talk about URP and the HDRP, the two scriptable render pipeline templates in Unity. We're gonna focus on which one you should be picking if you're making a specific type of game, including 3D, 2D, maybe something you wanna have high quality, realistic, graphics in or maybe a stylized game so we're going to talk about a bunch of different topics and you know being the professional that I am I actually have an agenda for you guys so we're going to take a look at an introduction to SRP including what it is and talk a little bit about what the purpose is then we're going to take a look at HDRP and URP and take a look at SRP specific features that are available in Unity such as the volume framework and those parts are going to be pretty quick the thing that we're going to focus mostly on is URP features and HDRP features and then we will finish off the video by taking a look at where to use HDRP versus URP. I'm going to be leaving timecode stamps or timestamp whatever <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm gonna leave the essence of time into the pinned comment and in the description box of this video so if you guys want to skip to a specific part feel free to do it but for the more overall experience I was gonna say but actually the whole video's purpose is to talk about it as a whole thing, as SRP in general. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it and hit subscribe for more videos. And on that, let's get into it. So let's begin with the basics. SRP is a term you will hear very often and it stands for Scriptable Render Pipeline. It's a feature that allows you to control, tailor, and customize rendering via scripts. If that sounds scary, don't worry, because luckily Unity provides us with two templates to use for SRP, the Universal Render Pipeline, which is URP for short, and the High Definition Render Pipeline, HDRP for short. Both of which you're gonna hear me talk quite a bit in this video about. What am I saying? It's literally the purpose of this video. Now, since the beginning of time as we know it, or simply before the concept of SRP was introduced into Unity, we had the built-in render pipeline, which is also called just standard. And it's still there, you can use it, but SRP is the latest piece of technology in rendering that Unity wants to shift focus on. So it is highly recommended that you use one of the templates unless you wanna create your own render pipeline or be stuck in the past with the built-in render pipeline. One reason is, and we're gonna talk more about this further into this video, but for instance, two major features, shader graph and VFX graph, are not available in the standard render pipeline, the built-in one. They are, however, available in HDRP and URP specifically, and most new features that come along will adapt this lifestyle since URP is also planned to replace the standard render pipeline in the future. There are a couple of ways you can get started with either one of the templates or both if you want to try both of them. First option is through Unity Hub. You can get Unity Hub installed through the link in the description if you don't have it yet. And once you've got it running, you can create a new project and pick if you want to use the built-in render pipeline, HDRP or URP. If you already have a project and you just wanna upgrade, you can enter the project manager and install one of the two from here. I also have a guide on how to actually get set up with either one of these. So if you wanna watch a tutorial on that, feel free to check out my video that's linked in the description. But why is SRP the way to go? I mean, why should you use SRP and not the built-in render pipeline? And if you're gonna use SRP, which template do you use, HDRP or URP? I know you're asking that question, hopefully you are, because this is literally the purpose of the video. <laughs> you better be asking that question right now. But yeah, so let's talk about it. In case you didn't know, URP actually used to be called the lightweight render pipeline and along with it came the news that URP would become the new default render pipeline in the future and URP is arguably the most performant and lightweight pipeline amongst all render pipelines 
as you can see from this image, which is taken from Unity's blog, it outperforms the built-in render pipeline. And by the way, sources that I show on screen and refer to in this video are all going to be linked in the description, just so you guys know. Now, on the other hand, we have HDRP, which is the one that, just like the name suggests, is more commonly used for achieving high fidelity visuals. And in just a moment, we're gonna take a look at the full feature list of each render pipeline, but as a high level overview, and just generally speaking to get started, the two templates have always been separated in a way that URP is mainly used for mobile and 2D games, whereas HDRP's scope of focus lies mainly within the high-end platforms and consoles like PC, PS4, Xbox One, and so on. Now, the tricky part is that you can actually build for almost whatever platform you want to from Unity. So technically speaking, HDRP will still let you build your game for mobile devices, but the feature set of HDRP within Unity when you make your game is not the same as URP when it comes to mobile development. And that's what we're gonna take a look at now. So let's start by talking about the features that SRP enables by default. So this means that the features we're gonna name now are available for both URP and HDRP and are a core part of the Unity workflow when using SRP. One of the biggest changes is the fact that SRP introduces a volume-based framework. Both URP and HDRP use a volume framework where each volume can either be global or have local boundaries. If you have a global volume, it will affect the entire scene, whereas if you have a local volume, you can define exactly what part of the scene it will affect. Each volume can contain scene setting properties and values that HDRP interpolates between, depending on the position of the camera in the scene. I'm not gonna go deep into details about the volume framework because I actually have a dedicated video on it on my YouTube channel, which I'm gonna link in the description below. So if you guys are interested in learning more about this topic, feel free to check it out. But for example, you can use volumes to change environment settings such as fog color, density, set up a different skybox, customize your shadow settings, and much more. The volume framework is also used for post-processing effects in SRP. We'll talk more about how post-processing works for both URP and HDRP later in this video. But before we move on, I just wanna say that Shader Graph and VFX Graph, as I mentioned before, are both available for URP and HDRP, but not for the built-in render pipeline. Shader Graph is a visual tool for creating shaders without needing to code them, and the VFX Graph is also a visual tool, but for authoring highly optimized particles with an easy workflow, both of which I have videos for as well. So <laughs> my channel is like a Unity library at this point. So feel free to check them out in the links in the description. And generally speaking, SRP enables you the ability to configure rendering in Unity from c -sharp scripts, which allows you to optimize performance for specific hardware, customize rendering processes according to your needs, and control how your performance resources are being used. And these things are a little more complex. I'm aware of that as in for intermediate developers. So don't feel like you have to do this because you absolutely don't have to edit anything. You could use, you could just use HDRP or URP out of the box as they come. Now, with that being said, let's take a deep dive into the feature list of URP and why you would wanna use this template. As mentioned before many times in this video now, URP is mainly used for mobile and 2D games. Though it's not limited to, URP supports a wide range of platforms, including mobile devices running on iOS and Android, and platforms ranging from Nintendo Switch and all current VR platforms, all the way to PlayStation 4 and WebGL. One big pro of using URP is if you're making 2D games. Together with URP comes the 2D renderer package, which is available through the package manager in Unity. The 2D renderer allows you to utilize a 2D space for your game, which is far more performant than using a 3D space, and it introduces the 2D lights as well. 2D lights are actually necessary if you're planning on using the 2D renderer package because 3D lights will be ignored once you switch to a 2D space. I have a video on this particular feature as well. I know, surprise, right? And if you wanna check it out, which I'm going to link in the description, so for the sake of this video, 
I just won't delve into details here. I just now realized I've made so many videos. <laughs> now is the time I mentioned this cringy metaphor where I'm like, well, I love making videos. I love being a YouTuber. There are more 2D features that URP introduces, which I've covered in other videos as well. And I'm going to leave links to those in the description, along with a link to a web page from Unity where you can find out more about the 2D features. Hopping out of 2D though, let's take a look at post-processing. I know that's why you guys are here. I know that, be honest with me. <laughs> That's right, boys. Time to talk about the graphics. URP includes its own implementation of post-processing, which means that unlike the built-in render pipeline, you don't actually have to install any additional packages. This implementation uses the volume system as mentioned before, which again is part of the SRP workflows. It's got a wide list of effects available for you to use at any time. And these include bloom, color adjustments, depth of field, motion blur, tone mapping, and much more. So it's not limited to that. I'll have the image that I show on screen right now linked in the description as well. So you can see the full list of effects available for yourself or you could just launch a URP project with Unity, but who am I to judge? There's also camera stacking in URP, which lets you layer the output of multiple cameras and create a single combined output. It's actually really useful for adding UI and such. Now to wrap up the URP specific part of this video, I'll just say that URP has fewer features currently available than HDRP and standard, but does the job more efficiently as seen by this table, which compares the built-in render pipeline to URP. This page will also be linked in the description if you guys wanna go through all of the features and compare it to the standard built-in render pipeline. So as I mentioned before, HDRP is mainly used for high fidelity visuals, just like the name suggests, and high-end platforms such as consoles and PC. However, just like with URP, this template supports a wide range of platforms that you can build for as well. Now, the thing is, you might be thinking then, well, why am I supposed to use HDRP for desktop and you know consoles, whereas I could be using URP for that too? Well, let's talk about the features. One thing that HDRP offers on the graphics and realism front is shader complexity. For instance, you can use the lit shader to easily create realistic materials and include effects like subsurface scattering and translucency. You can also use layer lit shader, unlit shader, stack lit, hair shader, fabric, and so much more. There are also extra light types that come with HDRP, including the normal ones we're used to seeing, like the directional light source, and in addition, tube lights and disc lights. For more lighting settings, we can calculate reflections using screen space reflections. Additionally, we can customize the environment lighting, which allows us to simulate light coming from the surroundings of our scene. And there are more complex effects like atmospheric scattering, which you can learn more about in my tutorial video and in the Unity manual, which are both linked in the description for efficiency. Now for post-processing, I know, I know, calm down. I know you're hyped. HDRP includes its own purpose-built implementation for post-processing. Stop it. Similar to URP post-processing, this is built into HDRP, so we don't really have to install anything additional. It supports a wide range of effects as well, which are also linked in the description for full info on what they do. Unique to HDRP, there is also support for ray tracing, RTX. So ray tracing is a feature that allows you to access data that is not on screen and in super simple words it's an incredible technology that was widely demonstrated in some videos late last year uh, which also resulted in some fantastic memes by the way just gonna say that everything just works contact hardening just works everything just works everything just works everything just works global elimination just works ambient inclusion just works just work everything just works because ray tracing just works how do I run unity it just runs how do I make videos I just make them. <laughs> Easy life. Now, as of the time of posting this video, RTX is still in preview in Unity, which is worth mentioning. But again, for the latest information on RTX and all the other features, make sure you subscribe to this channel, self-promo, there we go, since we'll be posting videos about these things as they get updated. All right, so to finish this topic off and this video along with it, let's talk about which one do you actually use, HDRP or URP, or maybe even the built-in render pipeline. I'm switching back to the sunglasses, by the way, my hair keeps falling, <laughs> falling in front of my face and it bothers me. I know that if you're getting just now started with Unity or maybe even game development as a whole topic, 
it's it feels easier if you would have just gotten like oh use hdrp or use urp and for that i think you can just comment down on this video um, and receive a reply from people and maybe even me. I mean, maybe I notice you. I think it's just a question that you would be able to answer best depending on what type of game you're making and the re rendering capabilities you want to use for your game, um, what the focus area is going to be. For instance, if you want to use subsurface scattering or which is available in HDRP, or if you want to use something that is specific to URP and not available in HDRP, I think those things make sense to take into account as in terms of not even make sense, but those are going to be the deciding factors in which rendering pipeline you want to go for. And that is on top of the fact that, you know, if you're making a mobile game or even 2D game, it is suggested that you use URP because there are features that are specific to those. So that is pretty much it for this video. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to turn on my fan because the, whew, I know we're in June, but also this is Scandinavia. Why is it so hot? I'm sorry if the noise of the fan is bothering you. I just have so many fans, what can I say? I'm gonna try to cut it off from the video editing software, but I have no guarantee if it's gonna work, so sorry. But yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. Again, I know, you know, these types of questions as in which one you should use. I personally dislike giving an answer like, oh, you should use URP for, you know, exactly this or HDRP for exactly this because I'm 100% sure that somebody's gonna comment on this video and be like, you're wrong. <laughs> you can't use HDRP for mobile games. And I'm not saying you can't, I'm just saying the recommended one is URP and it's for a reason. And that's, that's the thing. I just, as part of my job uh, of making this video, really the main purpose of making this video is to give you guys the reasons um, just like any other video on my channel to give you the reasons and let you make your own mind or make up your own mind You can't make minds. I, I think that would be very powerful of you <laughs> But again, if you feel like you're a little confused as in which one to go for and which one to pick Feel free to let us know in the comment section and we can help you out I mean, I say we as in me but also other people who are watching this video because we have a lot of beginners but also a lot of intermediate Unity developers. And also we have the Discord server, which is PolyRealm, so you can join it. It's a game dev server, it's a game dev community, and you can just chat to people there, ask in the Unity channel, and people are gonna help you out. You can also chat to me if you want to. I, I don't really know why people would wanna chat to me. I think I'm a little, I mean, I'm actually kind of funny now that I think about it. <laughs> this video is quickly turning into like boasting myself out. So without further ado, I'm just gonna cut it off here. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope it helped and hope you guys found it enjoyable and helpful. So again, thank you so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos and also give a thumbs up. I, this is the second time I put up the thumbs up, but just, just imagine that the first one was like a subscribe. I don't know, maybe I put something on top of my hand in the video editing. But yeah, subscribe, <laughs> absolutely not a thumbs up and give this video a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the comment section in our Discord server. So thanks so much for watching. Have a good night and peace out.